um, the idea of uh, um, concern uh, is, uh, I think, some, something I, I never uh, hid. On the contrary, I said it in all words in my reports that I was really concerned, really concerned. And this is why uh, I have been insisting um, ever since my visit in last September, I think it was, when we agreed to uh, do all the servicing and, re and, and, and replace all the equipment, and this part did not happen for Karaj. I expressed that concern. We have joining us now Merdad Khonsari from London. He's a former Iranian diplomat and a veteran politician. So, Merdad, when you see this dynamic now of Iran agreeing with the IAEA on something, anything is positive, to give back these cameras, however, all of a sudden, the storage device is missing from one of them. That, this just doesn't look like good faith. Well, I think it's part of the jockeying that's going on uh, in terms of uh, uh, sort of uh, doing something positive, doing something negative, uh, in order to try to bolster the position in terms of uh, link keeping the IAEA from doing something that could be quite detrimental to them, i.e. by, for example, uh, having the Board of Governors uh, refer the Iranian case for non-cooperation to the Security Council, which would then uh, could result in all international sanctions being reimposed on Iran. So they cooperate to a level whereby that danger is averted, yet at the same time, they'd like to keep some sort of a balance in terms of having some kind of a leverage vis-a-vis -vis the other talks in Vienna by not being fully uh, open and uh, cooperative. This has been a part of the cat and mouse game that uh, yes. the new Raisi administration has played since taking over in the last several months. Yeah, and it, it is pretty sad when what's been touted as some progress is simply Iran saying, OK, you can have your cameras, but nobody's going to look at what those cameras have captured. Uh, and by the way, one of the devices is missing um, until the US lifts sanctions. But given that it is something, does it at least demonstrate a willingness of Iran to play ball and to move forward eventually? Well, you know, Iran you know, no, no matter how you slice it, Iran has no alternative but to try and reach some sort of an agreement whereby some, there is some form of sanctions relief so that the government can try to, you know, do something for the ordinary suffering people of the country. Uh, they are confronted with daily demonstrations throughout the land at this time. All right, these demonstrations will not result in anything significant in terms of like having regime change, but they are they are uh, something that the government cannot keep coping with it for an indefinite period. So they need to reach some sort of an agreement. They are just trying to be as tough as they can and to try to say that we are not like the previous government. We have other options. We can stand you know, uh, tougher lines and tougher situations. But at the end of the day, they want to reach an agreement. And just like they agreed with the IAEA to allow for the reinstallation of cameras in this uh, carriage site, I think that ultimately they will, they will cooperate. Yeah, great points, Merdad. And, you know, Iran did come back to the table, even though it looked like a stalemate only weeks ago. So one would hope that means eventually we're going to get somewhere. Otherwise, what's, what's the point of even coming back? Always great to talk to you, Merdad. Thank you.